everyone welcome back and I'm using Marley hair and I sectioned it into two and I'm just brushing it with my brush to make it smooth before I can curl the hair so I'm brushing it until when it's smooth enough for me that I can section it evenly into the desired sizes that I want so I'll just go ahead and brush it and when I'm done brushing it, it should be so smooth like this and that's it. So I'll go ahead and section it taking, while taking my kinky or my rod of the desired size that I want and I'll start twisting it like so round the rod. While twisting it, I want to make sure it's tight enough so that the curls can be more defined and smooth so I'll repeat the same process till I reach the end of the perm rod then I'll take the rubber the, the rubber band that is attached to the rod and secure it pushing the way to your senior yet what we gonna make you smile even if you be a me man no fear the size for hand no man big pass the word of God go to the world and preach the word oh word so find it, so make you preach. Now the thing we go make you nourish. You know my tell the dog say ish. On the man must so want him to so. Okay, I'm just repeating the process. I'll take my head, make sure the ends are even, start twisting it and like so, and I'll start twisting it from the other end of the rod to the other extreme. Remember to always twist it so that it's tight and the curls will come out smooth and defined. So I'll keep twisting it and then this is what I should this is how I should start out with and then I'll start twisting it from there. One remember when you take it once you twist it so that it remains tight. You do the same thing till you reach the end you repeat the same process just like that you keep doing it for each of those rods and the hair and when you're done you have to dip all of these in hot water the water has to be boiling like it should boil and then you put everything in it so you keep twisting till you reach the end and it's so easy guys so easy so easy <laughs> Put everything in the bucket or a bowl add your boiling water and then when it's sitting there for about three minutes you put everything in the sink so that the water drains out and then in my case i'll add spritz that's a, a super hold spritz so that the curls can stay in place and cool while still in the rod so that's what i'm doing here i'll just spray it and when i'm done i'll allow it to cool slowly but surely and this is how it should look like when i'm unraveling it i have to do it the opposite of how I curled it so it should be anti-clockwise don't hurry just do it gently so that your curls will still be stuck together and that's how it should look when I'm done like so